Tired of PowerShell? In the next 90 seconds, let's see how NextThink Flow saves you from endless coding. This is NextThink Flow, a powerful orchestration engine that uses a low-code visual designer to build automated workflows. Today, we're going to build a workflow for device restarts. Thinklets are the building blocks of a workflow. Using the side panel, we can easily customize thinklets with whatever logic or action we need. For our first step, we'll check for devices that haven't restarted in the last seven days. Since a lack of reboot results in security risks and device performance issues, it's important to encourage employees to take action and reboot. In the side panel, we can then create branch logic conditions for devices that have restarted in the last seven days, or have not. If a device hasn't restarted in seven days, we can use a campaign thinklet to send a simple pop-up message to employees prompting them to restart their device. Employees can respond to the pop-up with a single click, yes to agree to the restart, or postpone. We then build a decision into the workflow for both possible responses to the campaign. Notice how the intuitive side panel allows us to fully configure this section with no code whatsoever. If an employee agrees to the restart, we can then use a remote action thinklet to perform the task automatically. Choose from existing remote actions in your environment and then use dropdowns to configure the remote action for this workflow. Finally, we can use nBlock thinklets to close out all three of our automated decision branches. In 90 seconds, we built a workflow for a common fix that automates employee engagement and decision-making to eliminate the need for manual intervention. If we did all this in 90 seconds, what could you accomplish with Flow in an hour? 